Hello guys! So, in this quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can easily, within a few minutes, make and also bake the mirror animation. So, you don't need to have any paid plugin or you don't need to use uh, any third party program. Just before we start, I should mention that there is a variety of different skeletons. Uh, this one is used for uh, Lyra and MetaHuman. This one is used for default Unreal Engine for games. And uh, it's the example of uh, the skeleton that I get from the Mixam. So the workflow both for the Lyra and default Unreal Engine 4 skeletons is the same. But we have some issues with the Mixam skeleton. And I'm gonna cover uh, all of them. Well. The whole magic happens with the help of two things. So the first one is the level sequence, and the other one is the mirror data table. Uh, the last one is often used uh, for the real-time animation mirroring using the animation blueprint. So let's start by creating the mirror data table. For this, with the right mouse button in the content uh, browser, go to the animation and then select mirror data table. Right after this, you should define the skeleton that you're going to use further. I already have two presets. The one for the Mixamo skeleton and the one for the Lyra character. So, this one is Mixamo. This one is for Lyra or Unreal Engine uh, 5 or 4. So, as you can see, this data table uh, looks like the skeleton Iroki. We have the bone names. And for all uh, bones that we have for the left side, uh, it automatically creates the uh, same layout, but for the right side. Uh, the order here doesn't matter at all. The next step is to make the level sequence. So, uh, right mouse button at the content browser, cinematics, level sequence. As you can see, I already have uh, one here. Now let's open it. So, the next step is to add uh, the Skeletal Mesh Actor, as you can see here, this dummy and this mannequin, to our level. Next one, at the bottom left corner, here we should add a track. You should select Actor to Sequencer and select uh, our uh, Skeletal Mesh Actors. I'm going to show uh, for both of them. And this. So, as you can see from the layout at the bottom left corner, uh, I decided while I was recording this tutorial to switch from uh, Unreal Engine 5.3 to the newer version 5.4 because it has uh, better controls and uh, you can disable particular parts of the animation in the level sequencer without uh, rearranging the animation if you have uh, more than one animation in a line. Uh, this method works uh, both for the 5.3 and 5.4, uh, but I decided to make it on the latest version. Now let's add animation that we're gonna make. I'm gonna start with the Mixama character. So here on the left, under the animation, I select my animation. So if I press play right up here, you may see how it works. But it looks uh, incomplete because the play rate of my animation by default is 0.4. It's not 1. So it means that if you have unusual play rate, you should adjust the animation length here at the graph. So I'm going to increase it. So it's going to be 68, probably. Like this. So one more time. If I press play, now it looks complete. Now let's add animation to our Lyra character. So it's going to be two animations. The first one going to be rifle fire and I can create another animation track. Go with the uh, rifle run. You may see that I don't have any changes in my viewport. That's because the character uh, has the control rig. So to make this feature work, you should delete the control rig from your uh, uh, level sequencing like this. Now you see changes, and as I said earlier, 
5.4 has better controls, so I can disable particular part of animation to be captured or to be played with this one. Like this or like this. So, one more important thing to mention. Uh, here at the right you may see that I have the red line. This red line defines the total length of your animations you're going to capture. So it means if you have the animation of this length, this track, and uh, the red line is right up here, it's going to capture the unnecessary frames. So you should align it properly, but even if you uh, uh, fail, you can uh, always open up your animation and uh, delete the unnecessary frames. I'm going to show it uh, further in this tutorial. So I'll start with the animation rifle run for my uh, Lyra character. So I adjust the length of animation right up here. I'm going to disable the bottom track. And if I press play, you may see it works. So to make it uh, flipped or the mirror version, we need to define here under animation, under the edit selection, the mirror data table like this. So once it's done, you already see the changes in our viewport. So if I press play, it works fine. Next, we need to select the skeletal uh, mesh of our character. With the right mouse button, we can go with the bake animation sequence and select the place where we're going to capture it. Let's change the name properly. Let's go with the animation sequence, M rifle, run M for the mirrored and press OK. You can uh, expand the, this menu and select wherever you like, but by default it's going to capture all necessary and unnecessary things also. So press export to animation sequence and here you may open it up. And as you can see, this run and this run, they look mirrored. We can also go for the root, select force root lock for each animation, just to see the difference between them. So the default one and the mirrored one, just like this. Uh, the next one is, I'm going to capture uh, the second animation and uh, it's going to have some extra frames, so I'm going to show you how to deal with this issue. So we're going to enable our bottom animation, disable our top animation. Also make sure that you add, well, the flow is that for each animation that you have here, you should do the following. Select animation, go with the edit selection and provide the proper uh, mirror that table. And let's capture it. Bake sequence to the content. Let's name it properly. SM rifle fire mirrored. Like this, like this. Let's open it up. And as you can see, we have some. Let's see what frames are corrupted. It's going to be the first one, so we'll go with something like this, select right mouse button and uh, choose remove frame from 0 to 2, like this. And let's go to the end of our animation, yeah, something like this. Do the same, but for uh, next frames from 13 to 45. Now if we press play, you may see that it looks fine and it works fine. And we can check the difference between our current animation and the default one. So guys, the last part, the Mixama character. So as you can see, uh, the character deforms his right side, the right leg. Now let's apply the, the, the table for mirroring our animation. And as you can see, if you press play, something is wrong. That's because we need to add some extra data to the data table due to the changes that we have in our skeleton. So, uh, if we select our 
make some character and go to the skeleton you may see that we have hips right up here and if you take a look at the data table with our Mixama character, we don't have any up here. So we need to create one. Let me go with add the raw. Let's name it hips. The same goes for the second fields. Now we need to reinitialize the data table because it's the known issue. Uh, even from the version 4.26, a lot of uh, the tables aren't updated uh, if they have uh, some extra rows uh, added. So we go with animation, edit selection, make it clear and make it back. So now we press play, you may see it works fine and the animation is mirrored. So we're going to bake it. We're going to change the name. Dummy idle said mirrored. This, this. Now we can open it and see uh, it works fine. Uh, one more thing to mention is if you take a look at the left side of this preview, you may see that my interpolation is set to be linear and the rate scale of 1. Once I record my uh, animation and mirror it, uh, let me show uh, how the default one looked because it was uh, kind of modified uh, for the purpose of my project. Uh, it has the following setup. So the interpolation set to be step and the rate scale is 0.4. So that means that once you capture your mirrored animation, you should probably uh, make some changes so they uh, would match uh, totally. Uh, I guess it's how just engine works. Well, and the last part here is uh, just my suggestion. With the 5.4, you can easily uh, retarget your animations uh, on different skeletons. So it means that you should probably stick with one skeleton that you have. Once you have your all animations made, uh, the default one and the mirrored one, just select the animation you want to retarget, go with the retarget animations, Select here the uh, target skeleton that you want to uh, change your animation. Let's go with dummy. And here you can select animation like this one, the mirrored one that we had. And simply export that. And that's it. The whole retargeting right now is much more easier than it used to. So with this being said, I hope you like this tutorial. And as always, please subscribe to my channel, leave your feedback, press like button, maybe share with some of your friends and other people. And uh, in case you want to support me monetarily, you can follow up the link under this video to my Patreon and buy a subscription. And now I say goodbye.